Pre-game set for 11.30 a.m. and tip off at noon. Let's go Lumberjacks! I'm pleased today to be joined by Mike Safford. He's the play-by-play voice of the College of Idaho Yodis up in uh, Caldwell, Idaho. He's also the Director of Athletic Communications for the College of Idaho. Mike, how are you doing this afternoon? Oh, it's a great day. It's cold, and I know that uh, all the Ottawa fans that are making the trip up here better bundle up because it's going to be chilly on Saturday, but uh, (laughs) it's a beautiful day, I'll tell you that for sure. Yeah, it should be an exciting game. I've seen some people commenting down here about uh, going up and stocking up on long johns and everything before they make the trip up there this weekend. It should be a great game. You guys have had a remarkable season, 10-0, and undefeated on the season. you got a number of weapons. Talk a little about your football team and uh, uh, what they've been up to this season. See, our team is a lot like the spirit in terms of the fact that, you know, we're a young program. I mean, we're celebrating our 75th year of college football, but we had a 37-year hiatus from 1978 to 2013 without a program. So we're in our sixth year since football has come back. Um, We have a large senior class of 24. Most of those who are four-year guys or five-year guys or even one sixth-year senior that we have that have been in the program. And really, it's finally just come together here in in 2019. A veteran offense uh, led by quarterback Darius James Peterson, who I think has to be in the running for Frontier Conference Player of the Year, a true dual threat. Uh, He's massed almost 10,000 career yards of total offense. He's rushed for 3,100 in his career. He's passed for 6,500 or so. Um, And this year, he's really done a good job of managing the offense. Um, Have a great running back in Nick Calzaretta. He's rushed for over 1,000 yards this season. And he's a guy who's a bruiser. You know, he stands 5'11", about 215 isn't easy to bring down and has some speed. He's had a couple of big long runs uh, during the season. And then on the outside, we've got a speed threat in Hunter Juarez, a kid from uh, Northern California that's a 10, 800 meter dash guy that uh, is, a, is a game changer. And on the outside, we've got Keegan Crafton who stands 6'5 and really is a matchup for any safety or, uh, or cornerback. That being said, our offensive line anchored by Josh Brown at left tackle, 6'7", 315. He's a bona fide NFL pr- prospect. Uh, he's going to the Hula Bowl uh, to compete with some of the best Division I programs uh, that are going to send their best talent there, a uh, four-year starter. And, and the offensive line has really come together this year. We have three freshmen that have started throughout this season, uh, two of them being true freshmen and have done an outstanding job. Uh, averaging over uh, 255 rushing yards per game, um, kind of the opposite of how the Spirit are, the way they like to to throw the football. Defensive side, the team's fast. Got outstanding speed on the corner positions in the secondary, physical at linebacker, and our defensive line is the best we've ever had. A couple 300-pound guys in the middle that are hard to move and rush ends that are quick, very similar to what you'll see with Ottawa and the fact that they can get to the quarterback really quick. So uh, I really think it's going to be a neat matchup seeing a team that wants to run the football first against a team that really likes to throw the football around the yard. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a balanced attack for sure, Mike. We're visiting... Definitely going to be a balanced attack for sure, Mike. We're visiting here with Mike Safford, the play-by-play voice of the College of Idaho Yodis football program. You guys play in the Frontier Conference, and this season you guys have had four teams with a 6-4 and four record. The leader of your conference, Rocky Mountain, coming in at 7-3. and three. Some formidable competition there in that conference. What do you know about this Ottawa Spirit football team and uh, the challenge they pose to the Yodis there this coming Saturday? You, you know, the thing that is, is difficult about – our frontier conference schedule. You know, we don't get to play any uh, non-conference games and we have to play three teams twice during the regular season because it's difficult for us to try to get any non-conference opponents. And the three teams that we had to play twice this year, Montana Tech, who was ranked as high as 15 in the poll this year, had to play them twice. Southern Oregon, a team that's played for two national championships within the last five years an Eastern Oregon a team that made it to the national semifinals just a couple years back, not only had to play those teams once, but had to play those teams twice. So a team that's battle tested. And that's the thing that's difficult about the frontier is the fact that we beat up on each other. And it's difficult to try to get two teams into the football championship series because of 
how tough it is year, week in and week out in the league. That being said, and looking at you know what we've seen from Ottawa, and I've watched a, a couple of their games. Just it, it makes it nice that they played a lot of games at night. So once you get home, you can put the game on and uh, have a chance to to watch things down there in the Phoenix Metro and impress with the way that uh, the quarterback can get rid of the football. I think uh, McCullough does a great job with that. Also really impressed with, you know, the nose, the nose tackle does a great job being able to get off blocks. And, and the fact that the defense has been so opportunistic, even it's kind of one of those bend and don't break type scenarios where you will give up some yards, but when you get to the red zone, it's hard to score. And, and, and when any team that's forced 30 turnovers on a, on a season is a good unit. Speaking here with Mike Safford, the play-by-play -play voice of the College of Idaho Yodis football program. He's also the director of athletic communications up there for the College of Idaho. Mike, what's the forecast coming up for this Saturday's game? Bundle up. Um, be glad that you're coming here this week and not next week. That's definitely for sure. Um, we actually had some unseasonably warm temperatures uh, earlier in the week. Temperatures got up to 50. I know everybody <laughs> down in, in, in the Phoenix Metro laughing when I say that, but 50 is unseasonably warm for us. Um, when the teams arrive to the, to the stadium, um, it, it'll be probably somewhere between 25 and 30 degrees. Kickoff, it'll probably be somewhere in the upper 30s, I would think. The, 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 the big question mark is the wind. If the wind kicks up like it typically does, wind chills will be anywhere between 10 and 20 degrees. Um, so it's definitely going to give our team uh, uh, an advantage in terms of knowing how to handle those situations we played in games already this season where it's been you know uh, snow in the forecast and wind blowing I mean, we had a game earlier this season where the wind was blowing at 40 and, and you just really have to adjust to that especially if you're trying to throw the football um, but you know be glad we're playing this weekend and not next weekend because they're expecting six inches of snow by thanksgiving Wow, definitely going to be a chilly one up there this Saturday. Where can folks tune in for the uh, live broadcast and uh, hear you on the call of that game here today? So the easiest way to do it is to uh, go to the NAI network. Um, it's through Stretch Internet. So uh, go to the Stretch Internet portal that the NAI provides, and uh, our broadcast will be right there. It is a pay-per-view broadcast, unfortunately, but uh, we'll have a good call of that and uh, excited to to see two teams that have never been in the NAI football championship series match up uh, against each other. And I'm billing it as the West coast championship um, because there's nobody, there's nobody West of the Rockies that are, uh, are, are in the, uh, in the football championship series. So at least win or lose uh, one of these teams going to get a chance to hoist at least that banner. There you go. This Saturday coming up here, just a couple hours away, actually, it's the uh, College of Idaho Yotes hosting the Ottawa University Arizona Spirit in the first round of the NAIA playoffs. Thank you again, Mike, for joining us here today on the JV Sports Show. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be tuned in and uh, watching that game here later today. Sounds great. Appreciate the time. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you joining us. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was a great interview, James. Nice job with that. And uh, getting Mike Safford, the play-by-play -play guy uh, from... Uh...